Hey guys, so in this video I will be talking about the top 5 landing spots you should land at for guaranteed good loot and materials. I have taken into consideration the following factors so as to decide what spots are the best and what are not. The following factors are loot, materials and rotations. I will be rating these locations out of 5 stars so you can easily pick your drop and what is suited to you. With that said, let's get started. Number 1 on our list is Frosty Flights. Originally added in Season 7 when planes were first introduced, this is an air hangar which used to have planes and baller spawns. Now since none of these items are in the game, they don't spawn here anymore which is why the landing spot fell out of relevance. People think that the spot has too much running from the storm after looting but that is where they are wrong. Frosty Flights has plenty of drink boat spawns nearby which make for easy rotations in solos and trios. Not to forget, drift boats is one of the only two rotations that are available in this current meta. It also comes with easy chests and two vending machines that offer some great loot here. And last but not the least, you will come out here with maximum metal which is important in scrims and tournaments. A word of warning though, you will be contested in tournaments as a lot of people know of this spot but don't mention it as often. Overall I would give this location a 4 out of 5. The 4 is not 5 because it lacks variety in materials and offers only metal. Number 2 on our list is not a location but rather a loot path. If any of you may have heard, Faze Mongrel took part in the NAE Cash Cup and he placed 2nd. Faze Mongo was playing on 100 ping and came second which in itself is a very big accomplishment. Faze Mongo is a very aggressive player but as he was playing at a major ping disadvantage he played in a very different playstyle, often picking up points during endgame rotations. Faze Mongo landed at a couple of winter houses that are in the snow biome of the map. These houses have decent quality and if you follow the path I have marked you can get up to 12 chest spawns. The house that Mongrel initially landed at had a drift board spawn so it made it easier for him to reach all these houses and loot faster. This loot part also comes with a possible vending machine spawn. But it lacks presence of other materials like bricks or metal. I mean you can still get a decent amount but you are going to have to farm a lot of walls which are not the most material intensive sources. But not all hope is lost, if you are confident in your early game fight abilities, you can loot fast and contest the winner of Frosty Flights. But a word of caution, whoever wins Frosty Flights is going to come out with a lot of loot. So you need to play smart and you need to play at your own advantage. You can also rotate to pull the peak for brick or Frosty Flights for metal if needed. Overall this loot pass gets a 3.5 out of 5. This is due to the lack of other materials in rich concentration. Number 3 on our list is a forgotten location, or more specifically, it is the ruins of Tomato Temple. This amazing spot can spawn up to 11 chest spawns and somewhat decent floor loot. It is also one of the few locations that I'm mentioning where getting materials would not be a problem at all. Not to forget, it also has a vending machine spawn that you can use near the bunker, where you can also get metal by the way, and to go to the tunnel below for two more chest spawns. Speaking of rotations, you can easily climb the mountains behind, which is the POI pressure plant, and use the vents as your rotation. Personally speaking from experience, you're not likely to be contested for the spot in pubs but in Arena Champion League, you have a slim chance of being contested. I would say you have a 1 out of 5 chance of being contested. Overall, this location gets a 4.5 out of 5. I would say 4.5 and not 5 as it is rather poor in floor loot. Number 4 on our list is Gas Station and Pit Stop. This newly returned spot after the Moisty Palms and Greasy Groves update is a very good spot for uncontested loot. With over 7 chest spawns and marvelous floor loot, this spot is a go-to for wins and I cannot tell you how many times I have won by landing at this location alone. It has decent reserves of metal and brick making one of the few spots which has a perfect balance of materials. You can walk out here easily with 300 metal and 300 brick with the maximum wood. 
One of its major drawbacks is its lack of chests and rotations unfortunately. But it makes up for that in its material diversity and its lack of being contested. Overall this location gets a 3.5 out of 5. This is because of a lack of rotation and somewhat subpar loot as compared to some of the other locations mentioned in this guide. Last but not the least we have the John Wick house on the east of Moisty Palms. This underrated spot is the go-to spot for wins, rotations and materials. With 6 chest spawns and decent floor loot, loot is not going to be the problem. Another factor is the presence of palm trees. These trees drop coconuts which give 5 shield each. There are 5 trees here so that they can drop anywhere from 2 to 3 coconuts each tree. That is anywhere from between 10 to 15 coconuts. You can easily get up to 50 to 75 shield very easily and if you are really unlucky at a minimum 25 shield. There is also a nearby vending machine that can spawn in the moisty palms area which you only have to take a short walk from the house itself. Speaking of rotations, there are drift boards nearby next to a campfire where there is also a metal van and a bunch of other metal stuff that you can use to farm for metal. If you go a bit more ahead, there are two chest spawns next to four stone pillars that can give you 300 pick very easily. A bit more ahead is mini junk which was in fact TV's drop in the World Cup where you can easily get 500 metal. Overall this location gets a 5 out of 5 from me and it is my personal drop spot. It has everything one could ask for. Forevermore, if you don't want to use the drift boards, you can actually take the drift boards and go up front of Moisty Palms and take the rift there to rotate all the way to reach your room. That's it from me folks. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and share it with your friends. If you guys think I may have missed an underrated spot, comment down below which spot and I'll include it in my next video. Bye! Thank you.